Hi, I'm Dan Berger. I'm the president of the Vancouver VR Air Association. Uh, we're an industry organization that helps uh, uh, companies in Vancouver and British Columbia be able to scale and have the tools to be able to uh, kind of reach new markets and to uh, garner investment uh, potentially. And we also help uh, educate uh, folks who could use it, VR and AR to integrate it into their businesses as well. Um, we do events like this, so we uh, give them new markets to be able to uh, do delegations um, and uh, work with government on uh, policy work as well. I, I'm also a partner at uh, Shape Immersive, so we build uh, VR AR experiences for top uh, brands and enterprises. Uh, so my personal story uh, with VR and AR is uh, back in 2014, I went to a conference called Mobile World Congress in uh, Barcelona. And uh, one of the booths had this uh, weird looking uh, uh, goggle uh, device. It was the DK1 back in the day and uh, put that on and uh, it was some cleaning demo. And basically in that demo, I was uh, washing dishes. <laughs> and even though it was just like, some very simple demo. I was blown away by the technology and the use cases, and you know what the potential uh, of the te technology could do. And um, ever since then, I've been roped into this industry, and um, I've never looked back. Uh, the challenges right now. So we're, we still haven't hit uh, kind of that mainstream. Uh, adoption yet. So I think that's uh, a big challenge. Uh, we're still a few years away, but uh, right now um, it's that early stage investment side uh, that's really kind of lacking. Um, you know, the past year or so in the industry has been very difficult and it's everyone's in survival mode right now. So we're waiting for that killer application to really kind of uh, push the industry forward. But I think, uh, you know, if we collaborate and uh, we're able to kind of build uh, these communities, uh, this technology will uh, scale uh, very rapidly. To go all in, because if you're kind of half-assed half into it, it's just not going to work. It's it's uh, a long play, so you have to be invest completely invested into it and uh, be patient because uh, it's not going to happen overnight. So that's one of the advice. Uh, I would uh, give and then also think about ways how te the technology can be uh, practical, you know, pra more on the practical side because I find uh, those are the applications that really are, that are really uh, kind of moving the, the industry forward right now. Um, and then also um, just going to a lot of these types of conferences and meet as many people as possible and, and bounce ideas off uh, as many industry folks as you can. Uh, I, th I think that's a great idea because uh, if you can get uh, folks kind of acclimated to the technology very quickly and they're able to uh, learn rapidly, uh, you're able to be able to build. And I think programs like that makes a huge difference uh, because universities haven't been caught up yet in terms of the education realm. They still have very archaic, uh, you know, teaching uh, methods. And, um, you know, they just haven't caught up to the technology yet. So I think uh, boot camps like this, uh, you know, to really quickly train people up is, it's um, very, like, I, I definitely think that's going to be uh, very useful. And, um, you know, people to, that are able to kind of garner, get into the industry uh, very quickly is going to be uh, what's needed. Talent is going to be crucial. Um, not really. I think... Just, uh, you know, everything that ha that's happening around the industry is uh, really exciting and uh, I'm excited to be a part of it. Um, you know, on the Vancouver side, uh, you know, we're the we're top two destination for VR and AR. So what we're really trying to do is uh, connect with uh, different communities and different ecosystems. And I think um, we're really excited to go to uh, conferences like this to be able to um, kind of showcase what's happening and I think we all need to work together uh, rather than keeping our cards close to our chest so I think that's going to be important to take that next level of um, growth within the technology.